Welcome everyone to Smackdown 1000. We have a hell of a show lined up tonight. But first things first people, it's Evolution. And here they come. Ladies and gentlemen, all the hype of Evolution showing up on a show that they never even appeared on. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, there's Batista is back. There's Triple H. There is the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. I'm guessing when this show happens, they will have new Evolution t-shirts. But obviously we have to go with the old ones. There's no sign of Randy Orton there, though. Where is Randy Orton? What do you expect? Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, The Miz versus Daniel Bryan. AJ Styles versus John Cena. United States Championship rematch. The Bella Twins versus the Iconics. We have got a night lined up tonight of matches, couple of which are main event caliber. Obviously, this entrance is the wrong way around, but it always is in this goddamn game. Doesn't have the common sense to ever do it right. Well, Triple H, who reformed D-Generation X. Him and Michaels, they have announced it. Crown Jewel, Undertaker and Kane, DX versus the Brothers of Destruction. Ric Flair, the newly married Ric Flair, again. Batista, of course, controversy he's been involved in with his Marvel movies. And Triple H, a man of many different teams as they are in the ring. There's Orton's music. Is, and watch out! And oh my god! What the hell? Triple H just got taken down! Triple H was just taken down! Is, and oh my god, a bro kick! As Batista! He just planted a Batista bomb! What in the hell? That is. The bar, Randy Orton, he got laid out there. As, oh my god. As, watch out, watch out. The nature boy is being demolished right now. What in the hell are they playing at? As, oh man. Beating down on the nature boy as, oh, down goes. And, oh, man. This is too much, people. As Triple H is being beaten down on his lonesome right now. As, watch out. Look at the nature boy coming back here. And, oh, God. Oh, Batista, the backbreaker there. Oh, Triple H, sorry. As the Nature Boy has just been dropped. As would you look at Batista. Batista on a roll right now. As, watch out though, is Orton. Randy Orton just dropped Batista there. As Randy Orton now is on the Batista. As Batista... And an RKO. An RKO there. As, and Sheamus brings him up to his feet. And God. As Randy Orton, he wants him back on his feet again. Batista is on his own. They didn't even get a chance to grab the microphone. As another RKO. As an Orton barking the orders 
as Cesaro now. God! We knew these three had joined together. Triple H here. The backbreaker. Ric Flair, man. He is far too old for this. Demolished. And then they picked apart Batista. They picked him apart. Had absolute pop shots at him. All had a go on the animal. Evolution didn't even pick up the microphone. As the bar. Randy Orton, Cesaro and Sheamus. Just took out. They beat up Ric Flair. They beat up an old man. These three are nothing. Nothing but bullies. Well, holy good God almighty, do we have a main event for SmackDown 1000, people. If you think the match that's about to open this show is good, holy crap. Triple H just kicked in the door. Shane McMahon is present and he demanded that the commissioner makes the match tonight. Evolution versus The Bar. Oh my God, but there's no way Ric Flair is competing in that matchup, there is no way he is competing in this day and age. In 2018, is he competing? All I know is Batista said he had his ring gear with him. Triple H said he had his and they want Cesaro, Sheamus, Randy Orton, The Bar in the ring tonight in the main event. Evolution versus The Bar, Randy Orton starting something that is going to erupt later on tonight as the WWE Champion AJ Styles about to go one-on-one -on -one with a man he has faced a good few times in the past, John Cena. Smackdown the show where Cena made his name early on. Well, John Cena, I can't believe how we opened this show, people. Evolution destroyed. Ric Flair is being seen to in the back as John Cena making his way out here. One-on-one -on -one non-title match here. There's only one title on the line tonight. That will be the United States Championship. As here we go, as AJ straight away there, AJ Styles, getting ready for that big match at Crown Jewel against Daniel Bryan. As well, and AJ is staying on Cena right now. I would expect in all kinds of faces to show up tonight, as AJ is taking it to Cena right now. As in Cena, powering up there, and Cena goes right through AJ. Well, hell, what would this mean if Cena pulled a victory here? Pin, if he was to pin the WWE Champion in a non-title match, we know Cena's schedule very different to what it used to be. As John Cena now. Scooping AJ up. As AJ though. I think the last time these two met, I'm pretty sure would have been their, their Royal Rumble match, I think. As AJ now is on the apron. As AJ... God, man! AJ taking... No chances tonight as another huge shot on the outside there. This match, this is our opening contest, although you could say what the hell we just saw from the bar attacking Evolution. Absolutely ridiculous. We know people backstage are trying to hunt them down. People are pissed off. It's one thing to come out and attack Triple H and Batista, but to attack Ric Flair the way they did 
I mean, the moment we heard Randy Orton's music and just, man, is AJ right now, is, oh, God, man, look at AJ. He has got Cena wrapped up. As Cena. Very confused there. He doesn't understand the concept of a submission move where you wrench the head as, watch out, watch out. AJ just took Cena down as, again, Cena straight away trying to get out of that. Man, AJ has not wasted time with Cena tonight. He is out to prove a point, I think. Well, classic SmackDown moment. John Cena made his debut when he went after Kurt Angle as AJ right now. All these years later, getting ready to do something. Sell Cena is very close here. But, oh, man, AJ Styles, phenomenal forearm. And he might just have pulled a huge victory here tonight on the road to the crown jewel. I, oh, I thought that was done. As AJ now is going top rope. As AJ is on top. AJ, as he looked like he went for a forearm again there. And Cena just knocked him down. As Cena now, here he comes. There's one. Two. There's number three. And AJ is sitting up there. And, oh, he didn't get to number five. And I'll tell you something. That six move of doom is one of the most embarrassing moves in professional wrestling history. And John Cena should be ashamed of himself for utilising a move like that. As AJ, and that neck breaker there. You know Cena was setting up for that five knuckle shuffle. AJ made sure. As AJ, man, he's just taunting. What crazy right now? AJ, what are you doing? Get on him! And oh, and a boot to the side of the head. I mean, AJ has come into this match determined to get a victory here as he sees the leg. That big shot to the leg there as AJ now. As Cena with the right arm. God, speaking of the right hand, AJ with one there. As Cena now, elbowing out. As AJ is getting straight back onto him, not giving time as another brain buster. As AJ goes neck wrench, brutal neck wrench. AJ is pulling out all the stops in this one. As oh my good god. As AJ now got the arm wrapped up. As Cena right back up. As oh god. As he scoops him up here and lays him out face first. As oh, well, not quite a five knuckle shuffle, but that was a big punch right to the head. As Cena is now stalking out AJ. As oh, he's up, but no, AJ out of her. Impale on DDT. As AJ now, and AJ is on the outside. As he might be looking. For another phenomenal forearm here. And God, it connects. A phenomenal forearm for the second time. Which is actually cut John Cena. And AJ Styles with a huge victory tonight. He came into this match determined to win. He had the leg locked up there. That was the first forearm. Cena went for an attitude adjustment, but did not get it. He got out of it. There it was, right there. AJ got out of it, landed a big DDT, followed it up with a second phenomenal forearm, and the WWE Champion with a huge, huge win tonight over John Cena as he gets ready for Daniel Bryan at Crown Jewel.
Oh man, oh man, we are off and running. As it's time for the ladies. As the Iconics, it's been uh, Brie Bella and Billy Kay that has been having the the issues the last couple of weeks. But now, it's going to be tag team action as the Iconics and the Bella Twins are about to go at it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, moments ago in between... I was going to do a promo thing, but I couldn't actually be bothered. Plus, I didn't have a clue what to say. So, I'm going to say Miz done Miz TV, where he was interrupted by The Rock, who ripped the living piss out of him, as he does. So, The Rock came out. He mocked The Miz. He made fun of The Miz. As The Miz getting ready to face Daniel Bryan tonight, which The Rock does not believe The Miz can do. And here we go. As Brie Bella and Billy Kay starting things off here. Right where they left off. Remember Brie Bella last week finally landed a suicide dive correctly. As Billy. Oh, man, bounced right out that corner there. Said uh, Rusev to defend his newly won United States Championship tonight against Nakamura. Will get his rematch. Daniel Bryan and The Miz going to go one-on-one -on -one once again. It's Billy Kate. Got her there, trips her down. As turns her right into a single crab. Hey, the SmackDown division is, uh, for the women, is definitely changing. The Bellas have decided to become exclusive to SmackDown after the announcement of the women's tag team division. <clears throat> so the Bella Twins, plus the Iconics, two tag teams straight away. Becky Lynch, though, has still to choose a partner. She's got two belts, and she has to give a belt to someone. Is Nikki there? What a shot. She's not the only one. Is Charlotte also has to hunt down a tag partner as well. These women's tag titles had been announced sooner. Maybe Becky and Charlotte would have actually been a tag team together, and the whole split between them never would have happened. As Billy takes Nikki Bella down. Oh, Nikki Bella mocking Billy K. The Iconics, though, is. Oh, man, what a shot by Billy. The Iconics, though, if anything, remind you a lot of the Bellas when the Bellas first came in. Only not as annoying to listen to. As into the corner. Oh, watch out! As Peyton. Oh, right here, these are two female teams you've got to imagine. Uh, already high up. In the contendership for the women's tag team titles. You've got to imagine as uh, there are two teams that have been together for a long time. As look at Peyton Royce, the shots there. Another shot right to the back. Where's she going with her now? Putting her onto the ropes. Nikki though. That right arm there. As no, no tag. No, nope, she's got something else in her mind. Into the tree of woe here, Peyton in a bad way. Is Nikki just pushing in? As 
as in oh man as in oh right into the knee as Nicky Bella might be looking for an end in here as she scoops her up and down she goes into the cover. Billy Kay, though, is already in. No time wasted. Brie Bella still can't do anything right as she hits her own sister. As well, Nikki, though, just going to get straight back onto Peyton Royce here. Peyton fighting back though, able to quickly grab her, sends her into the corner. As in, oh, and the double team here. Brie Bella was screaming out for the tag there. As Nikki getting beaten down right now. The Iconics are in full control right now. Big hip toss there. So watch out as Nikki. As Nikki trying to get back into this here, grabbing a hold of Billy Kay. I think she's trying to kind of get her into the corner. She's on the ropes, is. And wait a minute. Nikki Bella, what's she doing here? There's a lot of distance and distance. It was, man, right into that bottom rope. As there's the tag to Bree now. As Bree comes in, goes right after Billy Kay. Just planted her with a DDT right into the cover, but Billy Kay able to get out of it. As well, went drop kick, didn't connect. Billy sends Bree right into the corner. Huge forearm there. As Billy now, God just laid her out with that one. As Billy Kate, you've got to imagine, is determined to get that victory back. What a boot. And she hooks the leg this time, but Nikki Bella already in, took out the referee there. I think Billy Kay tripped up in the way in, landed in the ref. That's that same poor bugger for last week. As on the apron now, what's Billy looking for here? Taking a round, might be a neck breaker. Billy Billy all over Bree. That huge, huge main event tonight. As Bree able to send Billy over, she's going to make a tag here after taking that boot to the face. As Nikki just bounces her right off the corner. Is, oh, she's going after her, Peyton. I don't know what she's doing. Look at these shots. As Billy comes right back with one of her own. As Billy now. Billy just scooped her right up. As, oh my God, on the outside. Very special there. Well, Peyton seems to have sorted herself out now. Nikki Bella trying to get back into this, but after taking that move, good luck. And off the ring post that time. We had a count of seven. As Billy puts her back in the ring, do you blame her, man? As in Nikki though, 
We we'll get a shot in there. She needed that. Is Nikki Bella now feeling fired up here? Lovely calf kick. Eyes and huge shot there. He's into the cover. Ben Bree still can't do anything, right? Man, they are just beating on Peyton right now. As and Peyton just get dropped as Nikki Bella once again lays Billy Kay out as she hooks the leg. And this looks like a win for the Bellas. Oh, ho, ho. if it was ever going to be over, that was it. As all Nikki straight back onto it. What do you do? Billy Kate, I did not expect to kick out there. I thought that was most definitely done. As well, Nikki wondering herself, I think, what the hell she needs to do. Billy doesn't even realise where she is as she's crawling as Bree is tagged in. As, and finally, there's the tag to Peyton Royce. And Peyton is in as she just cross bodies right through Bree. I didn't go! Oh, what a kick there! She taunts right in the face of Nikki Bella. As Peyton now, Irish whip. Watch out, Billy. As. Shot in the gut, just takes her right back down. As Peyton now is stalking Bree here. As, uh, here we go, here we go. Seen this before. Looks very, very familiar, but it's the next one. That, God, the next one, that last one. As Peyton... Into the cover here, might be able to pull one back and breathe this time, kicks out, man. Good God. She's able to grab a hold of Peyton now. And oh, wait a minute. As here comes Bree and go, Bree mode. Oh, they are going to town. Is wait a minute, what's Bree doing now? Is Bree? And oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Bree! She's going for the yes lock. It's locked in. It is locked in. She is crawling to the ropes, but she can't get them. No choice but to tap out. Is the Bella Twins victorious? Maybe the Bellas. As in Peyton, holding her arm, realising what happened. As well, here comes Billy Kay. As Peyton wants to know, why didn't you break the submission hold? As these two are arguing here, these two are best friends. Childhood friends, I believe. I think Billy Kay not getting the victory over the Bellas is really starting to get to her. I think it's really starting to annoy her the fact that that the Bellas keep getting one up on the Iconics. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the United States Championship. Well, it is a rematch from last week. As well. And it looks like Nakamura has incurred some backup this week. As it would appear, Aiden English is going to join Nakamura, who wants to get that United States Championship back. Well, Nakamura... 
Last week, he gave everything to Rusev, but my God, did Rusev just refuse to stay down or what? As he is now a United States champion for a third time, I believe. And Rusev... Well, it is a happy Rusev day. As well, can he retain that championship? It's the only title match tonight. He won it last week. Can he keep a hold of it? There's Nakamura, you can see the careers. Bit of a goddamn nosedive in the WWE after winning the Rumble and he's piss poor rivalry with AJ Styles. Nakamura, maybe getting this US title back will give him that little bit of a boost that he just needs to get. But speaking of boosts, if there's one thing this man needed, it was that. After everything that happened with Aiden English. He defeated Aiden English two weeks ago, made him tap out as he took out Nakamura last week. The only time I've seen a man headbutt the living hell out of a steel ring post to hype himself up. Rusev just refused to stay down last week, refused to give up, knowing that this was his chance to get back to the top or back into the picture on SmackDown Live. As here we go, as Nakamura went right in with the right hand as Rusev delivers one right back. Crowd is heavily behind Rusev. As old Nakamura there is dealt with a drop to hold straight away. Nakamura gave Rusev everything last week. As, and oh, just snapped him with the DDT. Aiden English out here, of course, watching on. As Rusev. But I think it would be a hell of a bad week if he was to lose his watch out. Nakamura dropped on the top rope there. As Rusev just scoops him up like he's a small child, slams him right back down again. And oh, what a throw there. And well, there's Aiden getting involved. There's Watcher and a backstabber there. Nakamura now. Not wasting any time here as all gods. Max him down. Nakamura. Like I said he's not really been doing much as of as of late, but maybe after maybe losing that US title and winning it back will give him that little bump that he needs. Nakamura's oh watch out, watch out, Rusev, Rusev with a possum pin there, just caught Nakamura off guard and almost. I said, oh man, that was a big kick to take from Rusev. So he went to grab him there, got a knee, but he's trouble. A bit of an axe kick there, right off the back. There's Rusev. And old Nakamura now is pulling out the neck wrench. Pulling that one out. He's going to pull everything out because he hit Rusev with everything twice last week. As he went for a big shot there, Rusev. Though is Rusev, match kick just like that. 
As he brings Nakamura right back up to his feet, though, as you can see, Aiden English, he's screaming his look crazy out. He's trying to get the referee's attention. As Rusev now, the overhead belly to belly. As Aiden English is up on the apron once again here. He's going to do everything to screw Rusev in this match. You know it. As watch out, another backstabber, man. Come on. That is twice Aiden English has had that. I've well, got involved and that's happened. As oh. Is Rusev though still coming back with everything? Is Rusev and oh my Nakamura's in a bad place? As it's locked in, it took him out last week. Can it take him out this week? Nakamura has got nowhere to go as long as Rusev can hold on. As Rusev had to let go of it there. As in Nakamura barely moving, a big shot right to the head there. And I think Rusev thinks maybe, maybe, maybe Nakamura's out. No, he is not. As Rusev now. Is Rusev, oh my god, Nakamura is, he's struggling to get back into this one here. As in Nakamura, that was more desperation than anything else, that huge kick right in the gut there. As Nakamura now, Nakamura with Rusev! And maybe Nakamura can get back into this series, he's into the cover. Is it enough? No. I know, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't turn around. Is Nakamura is lining up. And Nakamura, Rusev kicked out of two of these last week. And he done it again. Oh my God. Rusev twice last week kicked out of that move. And he done it again. Is watch out. And oh, Rusev. Out of nowhere, man, that boot right in the back of the head as he hooks the leg of Nakamura, who could be out cold after that one. Oh, he's out of it. Oh, man. As Rusev just drops the head there. And oh, Rusev might be thinking, I think this will do it this time. As Rusev has got it locked in again. Nakamura might not be able to take this. He might have to tap. And he taps again. Two weeks in a row. And Rusev retains the United States Championship. Aiden English tried to get involved. Rusev, the last couple of weeks, has been an absolute monster in the ring that cannot be stopped. He kicked out of that again. That is unbelievable. Right there. I actually shot Nakamura kicked out there. I thought he was out. But he was when that accolade got locked in again. As Rusev retains the United States Championship here. Aiden English obviously was out here to try and cost him that. But not the case as Rusev retains the United States Championship on SmackDown 1000. Well, tonight's pretty much a night of main event matches with the caliber of stuff we've been seeing. But Daniel Bryan and The Miz on SmackDown 1000 are going to go again. As Daniel Bryan. We saw the 
way AJ Styles went into that match earlier, man. Good God. As the Miz has already been seen tonight, technically. He done Miz TV earlier on in the show where he was interrupted by The Rock, of all people, who just done all The Rock's usual things and ripped the piss out of The Miz. The Miz had plenty of harsh words to say to The Rock, telling him that his movie sucked and that he's becoming nothing more than a same old, same old in Hollywood, and that he is the true A-lister the world needs to see. Had some good matches tonight. Well, it keep going as the Miz is determined. The Miz and the Miz with a running knee there. It's, wait a minute! Wait a minute! It's the Rock. The Rock already. As oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! He's in the ring. He's got the Miz. It's a rock bomb! A rock bomb! The Miz landed. Daniel Bryan's running knee straight away. As that positioning right now looks very awkward, especially the way Daniel Bryan's head's just going up and down, up and down. As the rock, both men completely out of it right now. As both men back to their feet after that. As Daniel Bryan. He got hit with that knee right at the start of the match. And then The Rock came out and rock bottomed The Miz. As these two getting straight into it now. As both men trying to recuperate and get into this. As... And the Miz sent off the announcer's table there. As the Miz is determined to prove that he should be in the title picture. The Miz wasn't happy in that main event last week. He felt humiliated as Barris is. Look at Daniel Bryan right now, right off the steel steps. As our main main event is coming up next, man. Evolution are back in the ring. As we're at the count of seven here as Miz dropped off the ring apron this time. As Owen Miz is the one that's able to push Daniel Bryan back in. And we saw AJ, he gave it everything earlier. I can't believe The Rock got involved in this. Sending a message to the Miz straight away for the the way he spoke to the great one earlier. As there comes the Miz. Trying to get back into this himself after taking that rock bottom. As well as the Miz going now. He's not one for the top rope. But he is now. Is oh, right in the lower back there. Good God. Is in the Miz again. Is the Miz now? Is all we ducked under there? And oh, what a boot! And the Miz feeling pretty good right now. As Miz has got Daniel Bryan. And Miz lays him out. And oh, man. And the Miz. And the Miz is looking for that figure four. And he's got the legs hooked. The legs are hooked here. As oh, Daniel Bryan, no. Able to reverse the pressure. And Daniel Bryan just stares at him. Oh, there he goes. Oh, man. Daniel Bryan sucks in this game as the AI. He's pretty stupid. Oh, 
Well, able to kick out there as the Miz. He's so positive that he should be WWE champion. As Daniel Bryan able to shove him off there as Bryan just stares at him again. And, oh man. And the Miz in total control right now. And oh, Miz. And Miz go round. And whoa, he just shoots right back up. As he stares at him again. Oh my god, he is thick in this game. He actually deserves to lose for being so stupid. As the Miz now. He's working the leg here. And he is all over Daniel Bryan right now. As, oh, Daniel Bryan. And again, just stares at him. There's a Daniel Bryan again, this time with an elbow. As Daniel Bryan is up, takes him down. Finally, does something. As Ole goes behind. And a big German suplex there. Oh, wait a minute. And oh, here's the real one. The knee from Daniel Bryan. And Daniel Bryan hooks the leg of the Miz. And oh my god, he actually won this. Oh my god, how did he actually win that? After taking a rock bottom as well. Well, the rock got involved in this match. But Daniel Bryan with a running knee there. Now the Miz was still quite impressive for a guy that took the hits that he did. Daniel Bryan actually wasn't that impressive in this match, but he still picked up the victory, and that's what matters is the Miz still getting his number thrown at him every single week. Well, there it is, the current women's tag team champion. Still hasn't picked a partner yet. What a crowd it is tonight. Hello. Woo. Damn. Oh, yes. So I've been told I need to pick a partner. Now, I had my eyes on some people last week. And I think I might have came to a decision. You see, there's a woman in the back. And she thinks she's good. And she is good. But I think she has to unleash her true potential. I really hope this person can be my partner. I really hope this person can show me the potential they really do have. Wait a minute. Well, well she's not her partner, surely. Well, she said she was bringing her partner out here. Is, Sh is Charlotte Flair her partner? Well, there's Charlotte. Oh, people might want to start paying attention here. Right, Becky. So, no, I'm not her partner. Just for anyone who is a little confused there. Clearly something's bothering you, Charlotte. And I'm a fair woman, but I don't appreciate 
being interrupted. You see, I have spoken to this woman and I have my partner. So please, I am not taking any applications at this time, Charlotte. You'll just have to go away. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I think you have me confused. You see, Becky, now I'm wondering who your partner is as much as anyone. I mean, I'm sure when you had your eyes, is it Mandy? Is it Mandy Rose? She was the one you were quite impressed with last week. You know what? You should be impressed. She gave me a hell of a match last week. Oh, are you done? Can I talk now? See, I've got things that people actually want to hear. Big things. Important things. See, I know once I introduce my partner that I will be defending, we will be defending the Women's Tag Team Championships at Evolution. Oh, it's getting to the point where everything you say is second-hand news. You see, Becky, I already know you're defending the Women's Tag Team Championships at Evolution. Because you see, Becky, you're not the only one who's been told to find a partner. Because you'll be facing me and whoever I choose to be my partner. Well, clearly... You've went begging and sucking the right people to get that match. Because how the hell do you deserve to get in the ring with me again? I have beaten you again and again. Wow, I've been out here for what seems like an eternity. And I still don't know what you don't get. You see, Becky, I don't care who your partner is. Because I'm going to find me someone and we are going to take those SmackDown Women's Tag Team Championships from you and whoever you choose. It's not up to you anymore. You are the past. You want this match again? Evolution? You're going to come at me and my partner? That's fine. You know what? These people aren't even going to get to know now. I'll tell you next week. Oh, it seems to me that after all this, you'll just all talk. That's a shame because the time for talking is over and you'll find that out at Evolution. Well, Be Becky Lynch isn't telling us who her partner is. She said she'll tell us next week. As for Charlotte, though, they will defend. They are going to face Charlotte. Becky isn't the only one that needs to find a partner. It looks like Charlotte is on the tag team partner hunt as well because she is going to challenge for the Women's Tag Team Championships at Evolution. It's main event time. And, well... I don't know who it is, but Ric Flair, Triple H and Batista are up to him. Ric Flair's sitting in a medical room. He still hasn't recuperated from earlier. Triple H said, don't worry, we've got a guy. So who the hell is joining Evolution tonight? As there is the bar. Randy Orton offered his services. The New Day have been hosting a party backstage. They are the current six-man tag team champions. And well, Cesaro and Sheamus, along with other tag teams, have all been told you need to find a third man to challenge for those tag team championships. And well, Randy Orton offered his services. But man, did Randy Orton suffer embarrassment last week or what? When he lost to Ty Dillinger. Well, Randy Orton, Cesaro, Sheamus, they are now the bar. And 
And well, here they come again. This is not what we expected when we heard Evolution were going to be here tonight. As it's Triple H, but it, it's Ty Dillinger. They've recruited. He's got the Evolution T-shirt on. They have recruited Ty Dillinger, the man who upset Randy Orton last week. He is in Evolution tonight. We all knew there's no way Ric Flair was going to be competing. That is for damn sure. It's Batista, Triple H. Not only are we seeing a reunion of DX at Crown Jewel, but tonight it is a reunion of Evolution with a new member for one night only. Ty Dillinger is teaming with Evolution tonight. As well, we're on the ring, referee. Ref, get out of the way. As an oh god, here we go. Here we go. Is oh my god, Batista. Is Randy Orton and Ty Dillinger are going at it. Is oh, this one's erupted already. Is Batista with Sheamus just threw him across the ring. Randy Orton is all over. Oh, Ty Dillinger, sorry, is all over Randy. The referee has lost control of this. The bell has went. The referee has just moved out of the way. Is Sheamus just bounced Batista right off the ring apron. The referee isn't even counting as Cesaro just bounced Triple H out the corner and what a slam to Batista as Randy Orton wanting some payback on Ty Dillinger here. As Batista goes right off the ring post. Randy Orton, what is he doing as Cesaro is all over Triple H right now as all. Oh, watch out, watch out. Oh! God, and right into the LED board is Sheamus right off the announcer's table there. Cesaro taken down in the ring. We have lost control on this one, people. Is Sheamus off the steel steps? Well, Batista said he wanted to come back for one more run, but I don't think we expected it to properly kick off tonight. As gone, man. Cesaro and Triple H are going at it in the ring. Randy Orton is just determined. He, he's got his eyes on Ty Dillinger. As, man, as Batista and Sheamus are having themselves a brawl as look at Cesaro inside the ring. As, oh, man, and oh, what a shot to Ty. As down goes Cesaro as Sheamus off the steel steps again. As Ty, the right hand, and oh, and a drop kick just took him down. As, oh, Batista's back in the ring. As Batista has got Cesaro's. And oh, Triple H and Sheamus talk about a rivalry revisited here. As Ty Dillinger and Randy Orton have been having a fight over there. As it's Batista and Cesaro in the ring now. As oh, he's in the cover. The referee has just let this go. But at the end of the day, Triple H is one of your bosses. So you better just let it go. As, and oh good god man, Batista sent to the outside as Cesaro and Triple H continue in their battle. As Ty Dillinger now, Randy Orton taken down. There's oh, Sheamus again, off the steel steps. As Ty Dillinger is what a move, the cover is in. As Ty Dillinger was getting in the ring there, he stopped that one. As, oh man, Cesaro. He's got Ty on it. No, wait. Triple H just spotted outside the ring. He sees Randy Orton and he's going for him. It's Ty Dillinger. He's on to Cesaro. As, and there's the high knee as Batista continues his brawl with Sheamus. As all oh, he caught that there. Cesaro, man, just about cleans Ty Dillinger's head off. And oh, and a right hand there. And oh, what a shot by Ty. Is Randy Orton with a huge drop kick. Sheamus is proper down on the outside. As Batista and Ty working together right now. As, oh, watch out, Batista. Big spine buster is on the outside. And a DDT. Is, is Sheamus back in? Breaking that pin after that. 
I still can't get over that attack at the start of the show tonight as Ty Dillinger just get dropped. As an old man is Seamus now with the backbreakers. We saw him do that to Triple H at the start of the show. That was after he delivered that bro kick to Triple H as well. Ric Flair, man, he got beaten up at Batista. He got picked apart by the bar. Look at Ty Dillinger, though, as oh man. Look at, look at Cesaro. Look at Cesaro. As Triple H launched right off the ring post. It's all oh, Batista. He was picked apart by Randy Orton. And oh, he's got the thumbs up. And the thumbs go down. Batista actually landed a Batista bomb on Randy Orton during that fight. Is Randy, though, with that back body drop. Is all oh, watch out. And a huge shot there as Batista. Who's went to the outside? Is, and oh, wait a minute. Is Sheamus in the bro kick to Ty Dillinger? Is Randy Orton hooks the leg of Ty Dillinger here? And the bar are victorious. As Batista realizes. Randy Orton pinning Ty Dillinger after Sheamus done the work on Ty. It was a backbreaker as he whacked him with that bro kick as well. Oh, look at that right there. Boom. That pretty much took out Triple H. But there it was there. Bang. Down went Ty. But if these three want to be six-man tag team champions, they need to learn to work as a team. But this just turned into a brawl there. That's for damn sure. Is the bar, the three man group that is the bar. Randy Orton, Sheamus, and Cesaro. Just defeated Evolution and Randy Orton pinning Ty Dillinger there. As the bar leaves the ring, they are heading away. Ty Dillinger, he's out on the outside as Triple H and Batista are in the ring. As man, oh man, the bar is leaving. As Triple H is just standing in the ring. As the lights go down. Bong. As in. No! Oh, in the ring! In the ring! As oh, Batista! He just spotted the Undertaker! Is the Undertaker and Kane! Are here! Is. And look at the Undertaker, Undertaker, and Batista going at it. It's Kane. Kane is all over Triple H there. It's all man, and Batista, who sure as hell was not expecting this. As Batista is being smacked about by the Undertaker, a man he knows pretty well. Good God. It's all man. Batista. Go on, Batista. Somehow, some way. It's all man. Batista is in Kane, though. Oh man. As in God down goes the game. And oh God. As would you look at the fight these guys are doing right now? And oh, he got caught there. And oh, man. As, and, God. And oh, man.
And oh man. There's, oh god, Triple H. And Triple H, Tombstone Pale Driver, as Batista gets choke slammed. And the Undertaker in Kane. This show is ending exactly how it began with Triple H and Batista lying out of it, man. Batista took ch two choke slams, big tombstone there as well. As the Undertaker and Kane just laid out, that was a message to Triple H. As the Undertaker and Kane Evolution tonight had a very, very bad reunion. Ladies and gentlemen, this was SmackDown 1000. We saw legends return. We saw things we never thought we'd see. We saw some good action as well. But ladies and gentlemen, what the hell's all going to happen next? Here's to the next thousand episodes, which at the route that the current product is going, I would not count on. But ladies and gentlemen, the show ends with The Undertaker and Kane standing tall, a message sent to Triple H. Shawn Michaels, I sure hope you are watching. As the bar picked up a huge victory tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode.